Our parents had a dream that one day we'll finish our education, we'll get a job, and then we will be settled in our life, right? And somewhere we are on that path right now. But today the dreams of Gen Z is no longer to finish a degree and go for a job. Today, most of you, in fact, many people are targeting that even if anyways we have to get a job, why not get a high paying job? And all thanks to YouTube today, we have better information, better knowledge on what will work for us and what will not work for us. So in today's video, we are going to analyze how AI skills are the secret to doubling your salary in biotech. Now, this particular video stems out of a webinar which we did recently with the HR head of Pandorum Technologies, which is one of the top notch startups in India. They are working on uh, artificial liver, artificial kidneys, and they are hiring extensively biotech people. And when I was interacting with him, he clearly said that today I see a bioinformatician or somebody with a molecular biology skill and a bioinformatics skill getting double salaries or 18 lakhs to 24 lakhs per annum salaries. So how can you make that happen? So we are going to analyze that today. Okay. So like I said, our parents had that dream. Today we want to double that dream, right? We we have invested so much in our education, but how things are changing, right? So let's go back into the past. In 1970s, literacy was the main aim. 1990s, computer literacy was the main aim. In fact, till 2010. And then suddenly uh, the internet had boomed in the 90s and uh, 2000s. And then suddenly internet literacy became very important. Then the world of apps came, then app literacy came. You know, you should be able to make apps and stuff. But today we are into an era where AI literacy is more important than any other skill. So all other skills are by default understood that you should be knowing, but AI skill for a biotechy is a must. Now, what are those skills? In one of my previous videos, I also covered that if you have the right AI skills, you can get hired faster because using generative AI, you can prepare for the interviews better. You can write a better cover letter. You can design a better CV and then you can attack that particular company in the right way so that you can get a job. In fact, today, Chat GPT and you know, DeepSeek can actually advise you on your strategy to get a job, right? Better than me, probably. So yeah, uh, that's already happening but now we'll look at how it will help you double your salary to be very frank if i have to do a x-ray crystallography okay to find out protein structure it is a slow process tedious process costly process and i may not have that infrastructure also right but with a, a click of a button using google alpha fold i can just go and find that out right so you can see a slow process has been replaced by a fast process, right? And it's all happening inside a computer. So what happened? Efficiency, right? Even governments are now having departments of efficiency, US as D-O-G-E, right? Government uh, efficiency. Same way, every company is looking at efficiency. How can they become efficient? So if you can help them become efficient, they will hire you at double the salary because you will help them save crores of rupees or dollars and you will charge a few lakhs extra, right? So why why won't they give you? And that is the no-brainer. That is how you can double your salary, right? And recently when I was interacting with the, the CEO of various companies in our uh, previous meetings in iBiome and various other platforms, so I was amazed to see how they are using ChatGPT, DeepSeek and uh, various AI technologies in research. So that is why I'm here to tell you certain paths which you can follow. The first I already told you is protein structure prediction. What did we do that? We have to first gain the three-dimensional structures of proteins. And if we have to do that, the normal way was X-ray crystallography, which was expensive, which was a slow process, time-consuming process. Instead, now we have AI models such as AlphaFold from Google DeepMind. And now we can accurately predict the protein structure in fraction of time right moving forward you have also i'm sure you have heard of the news that uh, demis hasabes john jumper and david baker got the recent nobel prize 2024 nobel prize in chemistry for designing proteins using artificial intelligence so you can see now even nobel prize is being given use because you did something using ai right so if nobel prize can be given if you did something using ai why can't you double your salary using ai yes you can do that because you bring in more efficiency Reduce the cost, enhance the speed. Now, another aspect where you can make a career and double your salary is drug development. And it is very costly process, right? Even though we are a billion dollar because we had some success in the past. But if 
a pharmaceutical company has to stay relevant, they have to come up with more drug molecules than their competitors. Then only in the share market, their uh, you know shares go up, right? So that is why every company is interested in analyzing enormous data sets to find promising drug candidates. Now they are trying to forecast their effectiveness. They're trying to optimize the chemical structures. They're trying to use AI in all of this. And they're looking for people like you who can help them. So if you learn AI, you can help a pharmaceutical company grow 10 times and that will obviously come back to you as a double or triple the salary, right? Even AI is being used. Recently, we had the news on Biotechnica itself that AI molecule has now entered the clinical trials, right? Very soon it will be out of clinical trials. Oncology, cancer research uh, drug molecule it is. These are new compounds. These, these don't exist in nature, but it can be created using computer AI and then probably the existing molecules which we have, we can repurpose, we can recycle and we can analyze if after recycling whether it will still fit into our receptor molecule and whether it will have a pharmacological effect or not because we can create a body double of our cells inside a computer. In fact, in clinical research also now AI is coming so that we can replicate the body of a person inside a computer and find out what, what effect it will have before we actually give it to him. So that will save a lot of time, money, energy and efforts in clinical trial as well. So drug discovery is changing and you can earn a lot of money if you get into drug discovery at this juncture. Later on, it will be saturated. See, it's like missing the bus. Once you have missed the bus, over, you cannot get in. So that's where AI comes into picture. Right now, this bus is in front of us. Now, another thing which uh, always comes in my, in my mind, if you want to double your salary, you have to learn this technique and that is genomic analysis and precision medicine. A lot of companies are jumping into this. You can use AI to analyze the genomic data. You can complicate it data sets, genetic data, and you can find the disease linked variations. Okay, let me give you an example that in this locality or in this city, Last night, there were 17 th thefts, okay? How the full police can go and find individually doors, they have to go, it's impossible. But if they just look at the CCTV cameras, they can see some movement and find out, okay, this guy has done all the theft or these are, this is the gang which has done it, right? Same way, you have to consider AI as the CCTV of genetic mutations, right? Using machine learning, you can understand the effects of genetic mutation. You can create tailored treatments for these genetic mutations. And then you will be able to anticipate the protein structure which will happen once the drug is given. So uh, you have AI tools like AlphaFold protein structure database you can utilize to predict. So that is where genomic analysis is one skill you should learn. This will help you probably any molecular biology lab you can get in and you can earn a lot of money, right? Another aspect which I can think of and recently it was implemented in uh, one of the big cluster in Bangalore and that is called using AI for lab automation. Right. Of course, you have seen the lab, right? But have you thought about how AI can automate lab efficiency? How can it in help us in uh, manage complex workflows or experimental data analysis or even controlling the robotic systems for high throughput experiments? If that can happen, wow, that's amazing. And that is what recently it was implemented in one of the biopharmaceutical company in Bengaluru. And I was there and I saw it like, amazing, flawless and it works the way you want and you, many a times you don't you are not even present in the lab and things are happening so that's the kind of automation systems can be present and right from a magnetic stirrer to big uh, fermenter everywhere ai is entering now this allows the researchers to focus on hypothesis generation this will help you interpret excel and accelerate the pace of discovery and that is where if you have learned ai you can design this for the labs or you can help companies which will design these for the lab. So that's where, again, you can develop your skill set in AI and implement and double your salary. Now, moving forward, there is something called as explainable AI in bioinformatics. Now, bioinformatics, we all know, is a great tool. But the moment we combine AI and bioinformatics, we call this as an explainable AI or XAI. Now, this technique guarantees interpretability and transparency of the data which we are having. Now, this will allow us to tr trust and successfully use AI predictions in fields of protein function prediction and gene expression analysis. We can utilize our current data using AI. We can in interpret it better and we, we can have confidence that whatever we are in interpreting is right. And that is where explainable AI comes into picture. One question which I always get from my students and subscribers is how do we learn all of this, right? And that is where first thing you have to know is if you try to learn this two years later, you would have missed the bus. 
today is the time this day you don't you should not miss or waste even a single minute not learning ai you have to learn now everywhere you are getting generative ai but here in biotechnica you are getting training for drug discovery ai you're getting training for genomic data analysis ai you're getting uh, training for protein expression protein uh, data analysis ai so all of this protein 3d structure prediction ai all of this we are developing already and we are training students also so all the details are given in the description we are starting our fresh batch of internship and of course if you have any questions comments or anything you would like to learn please go ahead and comment below and i'll try my best to answer but remember today's there of ai AI literacy is what will make you a millionaire. All the best.